want you to define something. And this should just be a couple of sentences. Don't make it long. Make it short. And I want you to include the important elements here. Okay? Don't use the word it. Keep on using the name again and again. And in this case, we're going to say you because we're going to tell a potential user how to use something. And always, before you write a word, you must know the audience. Okay? Without an audience, you shouldn't write anything. So, I'm going to tell you who the audience is. The audience is a grandmother. Her name is Mildred. She's 70 years old. Right. And uh, she's a native English speaker. She's not very familiar with computers. She knows the basics. I mean, she can use a mouse and everything. And she can send email with her grandchildren. But that's it. Okay, very, very basic computer user. So she knows how to use a keyboard. She knows how to use a mouse. Uh, but she's not sophisticated about these things. And what I want you to define for her is, here's our first one, and we'll both do the same thing. Just, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how we have two different definitions. And again, one writer. So all of you guys are going to talk to him. All of you guys are going to talk to him. And the first thing we're going to define, and I'll give you like three or four minutes to do this, is YouTube. Tell Mildred, what is YouTube? Go ahead and turn off the camera for this. All right, so let's see what we have. How about this group first? Why don't you read your definition of YouTube? We came up with uh, YouTube is an internet site that you can find on www.youtube.com. It allows you to watch video anytime. Did you get all of the elements? Yeah. What do you guys think? Huh? Good. It's good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Group two. Woo! YouTube is a website on the internet on http slash slash which allows you to watch and upload short and free of charge video clips at any time. Good. Do you copy it? Well, you know, it was good that you put in the free of charge. You could just say free. You know, same same thing with less words. And yeah, for Mildred, that would be pretty important. Hey, it's free. And also the any time. Very nice, because it includes the web. So both of those definitions were quite good. And you can see it's more difficult to write a short definition than to write a long one. You can probably write three paragraphs faster than you can write one sentence with all the same information. So there was a, there was a poet who said, I'm sorry I wrote such a long letter to you. I didn't have time to write a short one. All right, so.